Costello from Faye. And in case you don't know, Faye is Greek for food. Today I'm bringing you a recipe from my pre-detox treat that's in collaboration with Dr. Sandra Cabot. Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious coconut and mango chai pudding. So how I'm going to start off is by placing a bowl on top of the lid. The bowl's empty, I'm just going to place it on top and then what I'm going to do is turn on my scales. So then what you need to do is add in some chai seeds. So you need 25 grams of chai seeds and you can use any colour chai seeds. So weigh those ones in. Then you need to weigh in 225 grams of coconut milk. I'm just going to tear that. Perfect. And then just give that a stir with um, a spoon so that they can all distribute within the coconut milk. Now once you've stirred that, um, refrigerate that overnight in the fridge so that it can set and the um, chai seeds can soften a little bit otherwise they will be very crunchy. Once your chai um, seeds have been sitting in the fridge overnight what we're going to do is bring them back out and add your butterfly to the bowl and then add that chai mixture back into the bowl. We are also going to then add 460 grams of um, yogurt. I'm using just some homemade Greek yogurt. Um, you can also use some coconut yogurt. Now we're going to mix that up for 10 seconds on speed four. Now I'm going to show you how to layer these up. Now, this is where you can, you can experiment and change up the flavours depending on what you like and what you enjoy. If you grab a tablespoon, I usually layer it. So you can put it in cups or jars so that you can store, cover them and store them and take them with you as little snacks. Now this will really thicken up in the fridge so just keep that in mind. So I start off with a layer of the um, yogurt mixture and then I like to layer it with some fruit and then some more yogurt and then top it off again with some fruit and maybe some um, coconut chips. I'm just going to add some mango. Now the reason why I also like to layer it is so that you can really get all the flavours when you put your spoon into the cup because if all the fruit was on top, by the time you got to the bottom of the, the jar, um, you would have really eaten all the mango already. So then we'll keep adding in some more yogurt mixture. Now I'm just going to finish it off with a few more mango pieces. And a sprinkle of coconut chips. And there you have it. 